All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. 321 left, 35 up. I should be getting the ball here, but he's deciding to come on an onside kick, which makes a ton of sense because you look at the time. He doesn't want to let me have the whole field to chew the clock, kick a field goal to win. He wants to make it a little bit harder for me to chew. And he also wants to take a shot, potentially getting the ball for himself and being able to chew, kick a field goal to win for himself. So I'm able to recover here. If it was you or if it's me, again, if I'm recommending it to myself or coaching for myself, I would recommend calling a timeout there and getting your hand steam out there. But I was feeling confident with this. I don't know. Not a great decision, in my opinion. But it pays out. It pays off. It doesn't always pay off. I mean, you got to think that percent chance of getting an onside kick is like 10 or something, or 5, 10 or 5. 5 or 10 percent um, drops to like 1 percent if you come out with a hand steam. Why risk it? It's just not a smart decision. Okay, moving on though, to the bread drive, the money drive, um, 321 left, trying to win this game, stacked front. In past Madden's, you wouldn't want to run against this, in this Madden, if you see this double A gap, BS, run the ball. Inside zone works great against this. <laughs> like literally, I wasn't even using turbo and I just got to the outside easily. And if it was inside zone, the blocking would have been even better and I probably could have just gone right up the middle for an easy first down. That's perfect clock running. All we want to do at this point is run that clock and uh, lead it. And uh, kick a field goal away. So we're just going to run the ball again. Right now, all we're trying to do is take off as much time as possible, mess with him. Like, he just, he's just not sure what we're doing. Just gonna run the ball. See, I saw a hole there. Not great run stick by your boy, but got four yards nonetheless. So we're gonna take it to the two here. Burn that two minute warning. Beautiful. Just burn that two minute warning. So that's, that's what we want. And burn, right? Get down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining. On the eight. Now, we're cooking with gas if we can get a first down here. We're cooking with gas because he's got to start burning timeouts here. He's coming on this double A again. Nonsense. I don't know why. But we're now in single back. Um, here's wing slot boom. Outside juke. Inside you, first down, cooking with gas. He's got to call timeout. He's not. I don't know why. He's got to. Now, here we are. We're bleeding. I'm switching formations. I got a bubble out here. In this situation, I wouldn't even look at the bubble. Don't don't risk throwing a pick, especially if they're man line. Don't even look. Stand it straight off the Pollard. A little unnecessary juke. Probably maybe could have a touchdown, but he's got to call timeout now. At this point, you get it down to about 20 seconds. Another timeout, I ran the ball. And, you know, we're like not trying to score here, right? We're just going to try to run the ball, run the ball, get it down to 20 seconds. Get a, get a, get a, yeah, we ran it again. Now, see, we're going to get it down to like 18 seconds. We're going to kick a field goal. He used all of his timeouts so he couldn't even ice us. You know, we played it perfect on this last drive. Easy. 20 seconds. Wrapping it up. You know, we're just going to go over mentality, wrapping this wrapping this thing up. How you, how you do that. Simple. You know, anybody can wrap this game up here. Doesn't take a man legend to do that. But what I am doing is I'm coming out in cover four and I'm blitzing the outside DBs and backing off everybody because you don't want to get bombed. And that should have been a pick. You gotta time it right, bro. That's game. You time it right. 
That's on me. But again, cover four, backing off everybody, blitzing the DBs and sending um, Bell on man coverage to Mike Evans. It's incredible we didn't get a single pick this game. Now it's third and ten. I mean, all we need is a tackle inbound and the game is completely cooked. But same thing, cover four, blitzing the DBs. And landing up on Mike Evans. You don't want to get bombed deep post. Yes. Um, double the egg nonsense. He's going for a coverage beater out there. And I didn't even click on because you don't want to get hold by, by a PI or something stupid. You don't want to catch it. Well, if you caught it. Um, you don't want to get hold by a PI, so I just didn't even click on And here, last play of the game, come on, breathe in, back everyone off. Play as a user and run backwards. Like just just run backwards. There's no reason. Like if they catch it, you just need to go back. And the game's over. So we came back and won this game. The way you handle the end game is very important. The way you handle your mindset on every single drive is very important. You have to know when to be conservative, when to be aggressive, how to create opportunities for yourself to be conserv or to be aggressive by being conservative at key points. And yeah, guys, that's uh, that's basically it. If you want more drive breakdown videos, let me know in the comments down below, and um, hopefully I can get another quality game against a quality opponent to show to you guys for this type of thing. So make sure that if this did help you, go to themaddenacademy.com, sign up for a course. Really, um, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, do the course. It's going to help you so much more than any free YouTube video is going to help you. Trust me, Manu took a long time to make these courses, and they are for you, and they are going to help you get better at Madden quickly and efficiently. So with that being said, I'm getting up out of here. I'll see you in the next video.